Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, first of all, I want to apologize for the like the very clickbaity uh, title of this video, but it's the honest truth. Based on the discussions that I'm having with people and the people I talk to on LinkedIn, on YouTube, I honestly feel that a lot of people are not ready for the 2026 uh, cybersecurity job market. Not because they are not smart or they are not motivated, but simply that the world they are training for and getting ready for, it's changing very rapidly. And it's it, a lot of the things that they're expecting, they don't exist anymore so this is the whole focus of today's video what the cyber security job market is going to be in 2026 and most importantly what are the skills that you need to have to like really succeed here and I hopefully I will like give you some good advice where you can use to land that high paying cyber security job which you are looking for so first of all let, let, let's take a step back why 2026 will be different in my opinion this will be the year when AI native cyber security teams become the norm not the exception. Basically, companies are going to stop treating AI as an experiment and start using it as a workflow multiplier. I'm not saying that every cybersecurity person will get replaced by an AI agent. That will never happen. But it is going to be the year where really companies are going to start heavily investing in AI when it comes to cybersecurity and using it as a workflow multiplier. Like I said, it's going to be the year where people who learn cybersecurity and the difference between people who can do cybersecurity in an AI-driven environment. And this is not my subjective opinion. This is backed up by industry reports. I want to, uh, I'll link this here. So Anthropic just very recently, they released this report. This is the first time they have seen a completely AI orchestrated cyber espionage campaign. And you know, end to end, completely automated by AI. And they said something very interesting in this report, which I link. They said, we believe we are now at an inflection point for AI's impact on cybersecurity. And they said that now they're saying that AI models can we play some of the biggest cyber attacks in history in simulation? And Claude has started outperforming human teams when it comes to in some areas in cybersecurity, right? Claude has helped them discover vulnerabilities in their own code and fix them before release. So, like I said, most importantly, the first line that we are at an inflection point, a, a point of change when it comes to cybersecurity. And that's so I wanted you to see that it's not like just me trying to create hype and trying to, you know, just uh, scare people. I want you to understand how the market is changing. This was like the diagram of the report also, which they show the attack. You can see this just one human and all. Almost everything is being done through AI, through AI agents. So it's a very fascinating read. I'll, I'll put the report also. You can take a look. So this is why I wanted you to understand why 2026 will be different in my opinion. And the people, one mistake I see a lot of people thinking, they think that the market is shrinking. You know, there are not enough cybersecurity jobs. It's not that. Cybersecurity jobs are not going away. Security is still very much in demand. But the positions that people, the companies are hiring for, they are not the positions that people are training for this is what like gives me like the most uh, stress when i talk to people you know people are still training for l1 SOC analyst or some basic vulnerability role a lot of things are changing so what am i talking about right traditional SOC roles are being automated l1 SOC roles right it's agentic ai systems they can autonomously triage and LLM powered correlation engines, they can handle 70 to 80 percent of the repetitive tasks. If you are still looking at an alert and a sim, getting an alert, raising a ticket in service now or something like that, that is a very like a very, very dangerous job to be in because of the rate at which AI agents are becoming very, very intelligent. Secondly, cloud ai and identity are becoming like the core skill stack companies do not care if you can configure a firewall it's a firewall and most of the appliances they're becoming very very intelligent they want to know whether you understand iam cloud native security zero trust informal enforcement you know how ai systems fail those are the sort of things they are interested in grc also like so even grc when when we say that grc is good for non-technical people but it is moving away from checklist to an engineering approach where frameworks are not enough. They want people who can codify evidence, you know, uh, like look at automating their evidence collection. So basically, if you're studying security the same way people did in 2018, you know, you are just doing certification or just endless labs, memorizing tools, you will be outpaced by the, by the people who are learning the new rules of the game. And what are the new rules of the game? So let's talk about this. Agentic AI is also, it has completely, completely changed the skill curve, the skill, the rate at which 
people used to like uh, learn skills right agenda ki is not like a think of, don't think of it as a new tool think of it as a workforce so it's the like equivalent of giving everybody in cyber security a junior analyst or an intern right a threat a junior threat researcher a junior detecting engineer all of them this means companies can now you know they can do so many stuffs very very fast because of agenda ki they can shorten hiring pipelines they can reduce entry level positions right because most of that can get offloaded to agenda ki they can upskill internal stuff faster and they can move from manual security to autonomous security operations so the market is not collapsing please i do not want you to think that there are not enough jobs out there there are but it's evolving so you want to be those people who can become like shift have a mindset shift from using tools to becoming system thinking you think about the systems that are there how all these systems are working together being like a playbook executor to a playbook designer you actually design the playbook that the ai will execute so if you are doing alert triaging you need to become somebody who supervises agent ki who are doing this triaging and if you are like a checkbook checkbox grc pro you want to move to a grc engineer who can build this automation so and again this like a this is a recent survey from gartner and they said that by 2030 ai will touch all it workforce it workforce specifically the it real estate that is there it will become more and more ai uh, native i do not agree what it says here that by 2030 ci is expect 0% of it work will be done by ai humans without ai i think that's just exaggeration but if you are thinking that you are not going to be working alongside ai you are living in like a cuckoo cuckoo land as i say you need to realize the new reality of how the market is changing so that is another key point to know now now the third part while jobs are there the hiring process is going to get even tougher they have, they will there will be more cyber security roles but breaking in will be harder because companies want multidisciplinary skills what does that mean then you need to understand cloud because this is where the vast majority of ai systems will be ai risks identity and i don't mean identity like putting in a password policy you know <laughs> identity things like zero trust uh, things like how agentic ai how their permissions are managed engineering fundamentals you know automation threat modeling zero risk principles so days of the days of you know learning learn security plus and get a job they are over okay i'm being very very clear with you please do not think that i can just do a computer security plus and now i'll land a job that's you again you're living in a world which does not exist so what are the jobs that will be in high demand in 2026 so these are the roles with the highest strongest future in my opinion and this is backed up what i see in the market first of all the ai security engineer and when i say ai security i don't mean theoretical ai safety actual somebody who can actually secure the ai pipelines memory system agents model governors all of these things you need to understand if you don't know i have many courses i'll link them below i don't want to like be promoting my courses all the time but just to let you know if you want to find out agentic ai risk analyst the people who understand goal misalignment you know things like cascading hallucinations multi agentic failure maestro threat modeling these are again people who will be very very much in demand cloud security architects not cloud security engineers who who just know how to turn on security hub or i don't know azure defender or something like that no people who can actually look at the architecture which is there find out what are the key areas to focus on grc engineer people who can turn controls into code this field will 100% explode as systems become more and more cloud and ai native and lastly ai red teaming specialist you know this is a massive massive growth area ai failures are the new areas of breaches these are the roles you know they're going to be very very thriving in the next decade if you want to take a look at it so what are the skills you must focus on now and or else you will be left behind in 2026 first of all cloud and identity every security job is now almost a cloud job because more and more systems are moving to the cloud it's not just uh, about your on prem systems it's also a lot of the ai native uh, services they are based in the cloud only agentic ai security you must understand how ai agents work and what are the key risks grc automation you don't have to become like a coding guru or a coding expert but understand how automation works and lastly cyber security architecture as ai handle most of the grunt work humans will be handling the decisions so you need to understand cyber security strategy architecture where does ai fit within the larger context of the organization where you can use it what to do so closing thoughts in 2026 the people who treat cyber security like you know like it, it was in 2019 a list of certifications a set of tools a checklist 
a linear career path. You know, they will get left behind. The winners will be the ones who learn faster using AI. You build actual projects, uh, actual projects, actual a portfolio, work on agentic AI security, you're understanding the cloud fundamentals, you're mastering the identity, and you're developing a system while thinking. You're, you're thinking in terms of systems, not in terms of tools, and you're focusing on outcomes and not tasks. These are the people who will be thriving within like cybersecurity in 2026 and be landing jobs. And if you're still like, you don't know where to start, how you get these skills. I, there are many, I have many, many courses on my academy. Please check out these courses. You don't have to take my courses. You can take any course you want as long as you focus on the skills that I have mentioned here. So I hope this was useful to you. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. Share this video to anybody you feel might benefit from the advice that I've given. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best in 2026. And I hope you land that awesome high paying cybersecurity job. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.